Dave. You had a plan. David. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. We got a lot of engines here and we need to do a video. So what do you think the best engine to modify is? Did I put you on the spot? Uh, not really, because I've thought about this. We've had quite a few questions about this over the last like three years of doing YouTube. That's a tough one, Clayton. It's my, my, like my personal thing, or what do I think is the most value for your dollar? And which one makes the most amount of sense? The most amount of sense. So just on that note, we're not like, you know, a specialist in any one specific Volkswagen engine. Yeah, you've seen, love the Hoopty 1AT. We did really well with the stock engine. believe this thing 589 that time 444 torque and we're basically out of turbo yeah, and it won't blow up and it won't blow up so um but we typically modify most of the volkswagen audi platforms so we're proficient in most of them the engines so we get to see the ups and the downs the costs and everything involved with that maybe clayton can add in some you know, some of the different engines, 2.5 turbos and 24 valves, and I'll stop rambling and you can put that in there. <laughs> So with that said, uh, that's a really tough answer. A lot of people think that I'm against VRs, like local guys, some mm -hmm. of my friends. No, you I guys. know what you're against. It's not a VR. It's, yeah, good point. <laughs> it's just all letters. Yeah, just all letters? Yeah, yeah. Um, I do really like VRs. I've owned VRs, and we are going to do more, like, not customer stuff, but like our own. Well, obviously, yeah, we're going to do customer stuff too, yeah, but... Right there. Yeah, we're gonna do um, a bunch more of our own VR stuff coming up. Uh, but when it comes to modifying these engines, I would say it really comes down to how much, how how far you plan on going with it. So, do you plan on never opening the engine and just doing maybe some turbo upgrades? Or do you plan on going further and further down the path? The one thing that I will say with the VRs over one eight, or four cylinders, not one ETs, any of the VRs versus any of the four cylinders, it's 50% more for parts. So you need, you're going to spend more money on pistons. You're going to spend more money on connecting rods. You're going to spend more money on injectors. All of that stuff adds up and makes building a VR more expensive than building a four cylinder. All right. So how about this? I know people know what these engines look like, but why don't we, we got a couple engines here. Why don't we take a look and show people maybe certain things that they might come up with by looking at a block. Okay. A couple of fresh looking, nice. Fresh units. Some blocks. Fresh yeah. units as Cletus would say. <laughs> fresh say. units. This one you guys will see a whole video on. Oh, you'll probably see a whole video on this one too, but. Definitely. This one is the new drag car engine. We're going to do like a full engine build i've already filmed a bunch of this um, but we're still halfway through it um, so some of the differences between uh, the four cylinder six cylinder stuff obviously it's easy to make power on a bigger displacement engine this is a 3.2 liter still 3.2 right where'd you go bigger that's uh, like 3.3 i think 3.3 okay yeah, I, I don't know the measurements it is bored out yeah. so yeah with the obviously the bigger displacement engine it makes things easier to make power so on a VR, for example, a 3.2, you know, it only takes 
14, 15 pounds of boost to make 400 plus wheel horsepower. We're on a four cylinder. It's going to take usually double that. In Maybe a lot we'll of do cases. a video at some point to actually explain that a little bit as well. Yeah, I do actually. Good boost, point. Clayton. Boost is just a number. Boost man. is just a number. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Remember, that's actually on the list of videos that we want to do, but. In regards to the whole point of this video, um, Clayton's question was, you know, what's the best engine to modify in the Volkswagen platform? If you're keeping it stock, like not planning on to open it, I think at this point in time, the Mark 7 Gen 3 engine is, is hard to be beat. Really? Yeah, man. It's, we make 500 plus wheel horsepower, completely stock engine. The ECU is super smart, adding additional fueling. You basically have endless power capabilities with it. The problem with that platform and that engine, and I'm sure things will get developed, but this, the cylinder head will be its limiting factor. So making six, 700 wheel horsepower is definitely capable in those. Seeing the thousand plus wheel horsepower in the Gen 3 stuff is where it's gonna be tough, where if you back it up, and go to like a 1AT or 16 valve or something like that, the cylinder head doesn't really become as much of a limiting factor because it still has a traditional exhaust manifold. And for those that don't know. Do we have something here to show that? Uh, I have a Gen 3 head over there, but it's buried and I'm okay, not taking well, it out. Okay, I'll just put a picture in to show it. Cause yeah, it's... for those that don't know, the, the manifold is built into the cylinder head on the newer stuff. It doesn't have a separate exhaust manifold and turbocharger. The turbo bolts directly to the cylinder head. So if you're keeping it as a block together, unopened, my opinion today, Gen 3 engines, two liter GTI, Golf R, amazing platform to start with, amazing engine to make power really, really easily. That being said, though, the cars are still like... Oh, the crazy money and all money that stuff. The money yeah. that you can spend. So you can buy yeah. some clapped out yeah, yeah. 180 hoopty type thing and yeah. spend a bunch of money on the engine and still gain and get really good power out of that. But I get what you're saying is that you have a pretty good package of pretty easy unopened like yours. I don't know yeah. if you mentioned that unopened power where it's just a turbo. Well, it's yeah. a lot more than a turbo, but turbo and bolt, some on other parts. bolt on parts and you're leaving it now. If you get to the point where you're opening it up, what's your fave? Um, I don't know if it's going to be a, a, like favorite isn't going to be the exact answer. It's just um, what's the smartest thing to do, I guess. The Mark V FSI, Mark VI TSI, they have some really limiting factors. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to make 700 to 1,000 horsepower, let's say, and you're opening the engine up and you're building it, I'm probably going to lean back towards a 1AT or a VR. Cool. Because the VR just does that, does big power more efficiently because it's a much bigger displacement engine. We're talking about a 1.8 liter um, versus, you know, this specific one, 3.2 liter. You're getting a lot more flow, a lot more airflow through the engine. These are just air pumps. So the air more air fuel, you can pump. spark, that's bang. Right. Yeah. That's right. So if you're trying to keep, you know, 500 horsepower or below, or even a little bit more on the Gen 3 stuff, unopened engine, the Gen 3 stuff, two liter R and GTI are just an, an absolute animal of an engine. I will say this, no matter what four cylinder you're doing in the Volkswagen world, and this is gonna, you know, roll over into other platforms as well, to build an engine to make you know, X amount of horsepower, doesn't matter if it's a 16 valve, a 1AT, any of them, it generally costs about the same. Like rods and pistons, aftermarket, it's all generally priced similarly. So if you start with a 16 valve or a 1AT or two liter FSI, whatever, the parts that are required all generally cost about the same. So it's just, if you get to that point and you're opening it up and you wanna make some power, it doesn't matter what you start with. It all costs money. It all costs money. It's only However, money. it's only money. Wait, merch it's plug. only money. Yeah, merch plug. Merch. Merch plug. Yes. Is it time, Clayton? It's time. It's that time of the year. We have 
Lots of zip up hoodies, lots of the regular pullover hoodies that you guys would see in our videos. Lots of hats. We got t-shirts, we got the It's Only Money t-shirt as well. We got beanies, we got tons of stuff. Don't forget to check it out on our website. Support the small guys. However, as I mentioned, the, the Mark V and Mark VI platform, those engines are a little bit more limiting and it really happened, I think. I mean, obviously I'm not a Volkswagen engineer or anything what? like that. I'm just doing oh this. Oh my God, we're done. Um, the Mark V and Mark VI, platform really suffered because of the fuel limitations. So for those that don't know, it's for many years, it was really tough to get fueling really above 450 wheel horsepower. There are definitely options. We've definitely done them on a handful of cars. Then other things to add like direct, direct port injection, you have to have the ECU wasn't to deal yeah, with it, right. everything else. So it's, there yeah. were so many things. So those platforms, when it came to making horsepower and development, they definitely suffered where the 1AT being a port injected, there's endless options for fueling. And then now with the Mark 7 stuff, because we have access to doing multi-port injection through the ECU, it's really made those things shine. So Clayton, I don't know what the point of this video was. Did I really give an answer? If you're gonna build something to make horsepower, the VRs definitely do it a lot easier. However, there's higher costs involved due to it having two more cylinders. 50% yeah, more, man. Yeah, and one thing I will add, and I probably said this in a video way back, turbo size really dictates the power. So if you wanna put you know, a 67 mil turbo on this engine and a 67 mil turbo on this engine, they're going to eventually make the same power. The VR is not gonna do it, make a whole bunch more power. It's just gonna do it more efficiently. Point being, end results, you can get there with any of them. It's just, how much does it cost to get there? So let's talk about one thing just for one second. Okay. One Look second. The difference between the material on this and the size of this, like, like that's my hand, obviously, I'm not gonna touch everything, but compared to the massive size of that and both can make really the same power, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, well, that's just the nature of turbochargers. Yeah, they've totally changed the world of things. So, so that that no replacement for displacement is bullshit. It sort of is. Yeah, it just it does it easier. And but with building these engines like this one for guys that will see this video in the future, this is a cast iron Volkswagen block that we have sleeved. Um, and if you build it to handle lots and lots of boost, then the engine really doesn't become the limiting factor. It's the turbocharger that's attached to it. And you can't even tell that sleeve. That's pretty nice. Yeah, because there's lots of stuff too. down in the O-ray. Yeah, we're going to we'll show go it's girdle, this aluminum rod. You guys are going to see all that in a separate video. But if you guys have any questions or comments, I think I said nowadays Gen 3 engines, they're killer engines. You want to make big, big power, 1,000 horsepower. I wouldn't start with the Gen 3 engine. You're probably going to run into a lot of limitations at this point in time. What's that? What's, what's, what's your guys' favorite engine? On, yeah. the, on the on the YouTube, you on guys, the as uh, AVE would say, type down in the doobly do. Yeah, type type it down. What, what's your guys? What do you want to see? Like, if we do another engine car type build, and we might have asked this before, but what do you want to see? You want to see something from a VR? You want to see another one AT? They want to see more of that. I know. Don't say TDI because no, no, that one. Two point five. Oh yeah, two point five. We didn't even get into a two point five. Anyway, it's just it falls in between these two things. So. I would choose the 2.5 over either, really. Yeah. Even though this one's mine and this one's yours. <laughs> That's not mine, but... Okay, let's... So, if you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to ask them below. Clayton, anything else to add? No, I'm good. I think I'm just excited to start putting these things together. Make sure you add lots of good content in this video so it's not boring, okay? If people made it this far, we appreciate it. I'll cut out all your rambling. It's fine. Okay, sweet. See you guys in the next video.